Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Vikram Shetty. I'm a director at 73 Bit. Today, uh, for my personal passion project of 100 internship, uh, this video I've created for one of my intern, how to search on Twitter using GeoCode. So if you're not familiar about GeoCode, you will learn uh, what is GeoCode how to find latitude and longitude using Google Maps and uh, how to search in the entire country, India, and how to search on a specific uh, city. Uh, and the fourth one, which is interesting, and I recently discovered, uh, which is to exclude any primary hashtag, if you want. So what we do in our first activity of internship is uh, we kind of search this hashtag 100 days of code uh, it's a very popular challenge among students uh, so it uh, indicates that we are uh, checking only with students and uh, not professional and what we do is we engage with them and if they are interested we share a link of our idea of the initiative of the internship and how it helps them to improve their human skills. Uh, so that's the whole idea. But the focus of this video is uh, this search. So a normal search, uh, which is this one, which my intern does is, so what it happens is you go to the latest and you get everything. So the latest four minute back, somebody has done this. So you get this search. So let me explain you uh, step by step what each nodes means. So the first part is uh, the hashtag, the second is geocode, and this is the lat long, and this is the radius. So if you see, uh, it's 21.4. So how you discover, how I discovered this, I went to the Google Maps. This is the map of India. I went somewhere in the center of the map here, I guess. And you see that is 21.78, and we our is 20. 278 is uh, somewhere below that. So I went to the center of India and we have this. So that's it. So you copy it, it gets into the clipboard. And then what you want to do is you want to get rid of the precision here. We don't want that. Twitter can take care of it and get remove this space, which is important. And then maybe put a comma and then you can fix it uh, with the uh, the end of which is 1000. It comes somewhere into Delhi, I guess. So I just pretty much took a distance between this and uh, the center. I saw uh, 1200 and that's how uh, we come around this uh, number. So that's it. That's the first. That is how you get the light long from the Google map. So that's uh, we copied it and we pasted it. Now that we are Searching of India, based on that, we added the 1,200 and we copied this path. That's how you get uh, the uh, place or the, sorry, the string. Now let's let's pick a city and uh, let's, let's see Hyderabad. So I want to search in Hyderabad. I go to the center of Hyderabad, uh, let's say, and I have this latitude, longitude. I'll do the same thing. I just get rid of this, put a comma, get rid of this space. So I'm a light and long. And then what I want is, I just want this particular radius. So what I can do is uh, here, direction from here, uh, direction to here. That's it, it's around 62 kilometers. So, just to on the safer side, let's put 65 kilometers. So I don't have to uh, know what is the radius and all. You can just put anything outside the city or town or wherever you want. So this is Hyderabad's keyword. And then you pretty much do the same thing, which is uh, use this uh, keyword. So there is a space after this. So, so now this shows, let's see uh, which this person is from. And we'll just replace this space. Uh, so there is, yeah, nobody. Okay, why there is nobody? Because there's no geocode. You have to be very careful uh, about how you use it. Okay, just a second. 
with things happen. It's pretty much a pseudo coding kind of a thing. I'm more like a power user. All right, so the other user were from Kolkata because it was the latest one out of the entire country. And this one is from Hyderabad. So that's pretty much how it works. Uh, and yeah, so we also fixed a bug while we encountered it. So that's how you find the city. This particular example in this uh, tweet is of Mumbai. So you can copy this of Mumbai. And again, a random 60 kilometers. It's uh, the same way I showed you how I look for Hyderabad. And this one is very interesting. This one I've created uh, for uh, the second intern who might uh, uh, want to uh, be a part of this internship. So this is also an invitation. Currently only one person is doing, that person is doing uh, 100 days of code. Now, another popular hashtag is coding. There is other one also, who woman who code or a code newbie. But I didn't found much result in that coding. I found a, a, a pretty good result. So what we can do is, Everything remains the same. We add a minus before the primary hashtag. In, the, in this case, this is our primary hashtag. We want to exclude it. And we want to use a coding. So what, what benefit you get from this is, you still cover entire India. You get this coding thing, but you don't get 100 uh, uh, days of code uh, hashtag at all. So not sure where this person is from, but uh, you can see. So yeah, so this person is doing 30, uh, this coding challenge, but that person we missed, so we can connect that. So this excluding thing becomes very interesting uh, because uh, then uh, it kind of uh, finds people, uh, find people who are not doing this uh, excluding thing. Uh, and yeah, so you can use developers, but yeah, you have to be very conscious of which keyword you are using because you don't want to use a keyword like uh, a Java or Python, because sometimes the job posting uh, tweets could also, uh, you will find. So our target is to find students who are working in IT technology. Uh, so you have to be very careful of the keywords that you use. Uh, even web designing, web development also brings in other uh, uh, kind of tweet which are now which are uh, are from uh, not students but organization or institution who are hiring and so yeah that was a quick video uh, how to search on twitter using geocode four examples or three examples and how to find lat log in geo uh, i hope it was useful thank you very much for watching i'll just tweet it right away and you can find it in my tweet thread bye bye